Right, okay, so let's look at the potion room. Now, this thing I'm actually quite proud of myself, I will say. Um, because I actually did all of the designing myself. Um, this is, well, it's based off of a similar potion room. But, in a sense, everything is mine. Everything is in this room is something that I made. So, how it works is you can have... Um, you pull in these levers, you can have, have uh, add potency, you can add splash, and then you pretty much just press a button. So say if I want to have a splash potion, which would be healing, I press the button and I will get everything um, that I need for splash, for a, uh, a healing potion, as you can see, the glistering melon, the bottles, the nether walls, and then you get your gunpowder for splash. If I turn it off and I do potency and I do a potion of healing, for example, I will get the same thing, just with a glowstone. And yeah, that's how that works. So I can quickly show you the redstone. Um, again, it's it's quite dif it's it's quite simple, but the whole figuring out part was really difficult. So, like where to put all the redstone and separating the lines and, and stuff. Um, yeah, so. You come in here and you press one of the buttons that will deactivate one of these torches. Depending on what line you choose, it will go up and then it will power either of these torches. Obviously the same is on, on this side as well. You have it on this side, you've got four torches there. And so, um, yeah, so again, so this, this will get powered, will run into a line and then whatever line it is, it will just power the corresponding dispenser. Now there's obviously there's one dispenser for every item. So say if you want to have a potion of healing, or sorry, I think this is fire resistance, you have a magma cream. Um, and um, every dispenser is like that. So as you can see um, golden carrot, um, rabbit's foot, all of that. Um, and then you got three dispensers here, actually four, because you need your three bottles. You need that every single time. And you need your nether ward, which you need every single time as well for every potion, obviously. So, on this side here, it's just a general line. So, whenever this gets powered, it will also power this, as you might have noticed. And when it does, it will go in here, and it will come off of here too. And it will power this, which will power all of these um, four dispensers here, which will give you... Three bottles and a nether vault every single time you press a button. So, because obviously it's one single line, because you need it every single time to have it when um, you make a potion. And then also, um, to explain the uh, the levers down here, this is for splash. So, whenever you hit, and uh, potency, so whenever you hit the uh, the lever right here, this will get powered, and then this will get unpowered, and this will get powered, and then that will get unpowered again. Blah, 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 blah. This will get powered power these pistons or either one of them so this one's not pushed in uh, pushed out and this one is so now that will clear the way for the rest of to come through and power the gunpowder as you can see uh, and then obviously this has a no I don't want that this has the glowstone dust in it so whenever you now press a button so say if you press this it will go up here into this uh, red summer repeater, power all of this, and it will go into this, and will give you an extra um, set of gum um, gunpowder or glowstone dust. And the same is obviously for this one. So if you activate that, this will piston get pushed up, and then it can go into this signal, and it will activate that. So same thing. It's not that hard. But again, I'm really proud of this thing. Um, it's quite hard to, to figure it out, but I managed to do it. Um, yeah. The chest room, so, alright, storage room, simply, basically. So, um, this thing was really hard to figure out. Um, I might not have made it in the sense of how I wanted it in particular, but I'm still quite proud of it. Um, so what this does is whenever you press a button, so say I want, I don't know, I want a few redstone torches. I press the button for redstone torches, then this, should, this chest will fill up with redstone torches, as you can see. And by the time you think, okay, I've got enough now, you press the button again, and it should turn off like that, and then you can take whatever you want. So, 
that counts for every single one of these. And at first, I wanted to have it like where you can select stacks, so you can okay, I'll, I'll, I want to have one stack, and then press the button, and then we'll come to you. But that was too difficult to figure out, so I made this thing instead. And basically, what it is is you press the button here that will come in here, power the um, repeater, and then underneath here is all pistons, as you can see there. Which will get powered up. So basically, all of this is monostable circuits. So whenever you press a button, it gets one tick pulse. Which then I can just do that quickly. Power this uh, piston here, and it will act activate this line. And then when you press it again, it will pull that back in, and then pull that back in, and then it stops. So whenever you activate the line, this will get pushed out into this, into this. Activate this, pull this in. And what these repeaters are doing right here is blocking these hoppers, so it's like locking it. So obviously whenever it's unlocked, it will just spew out all the items that it has, and it will go through this line, whatever line you're on. It will go through all of here, all of here, and it will go down into these, and it will go into our chest right here. And as you can see, we've got 16 cobblestone. So that's basically how that works. Um, that's all. Yeah, that's basically how, how the best how I, can, how I can explain it. Really, um, it's not like in particularly hard. Um, and I could. I mean, if you if you guys really want to, I can have. I can make a tutorial on this as well. Um, it is quite fun to make, and um, I know how. So, yeah. Um, now in these chests, obviously, are all the things you need. So there's cobblestone here. There's uh, wood here. Um, stone bricks in here. Redstone dust, redstone torches, all that. So, yeah, depending on which line you pick, all these chests contain the items that they, um, that they hold. So, that's that. Right, and then we go into the final room, which is one of my favorites, actually, to be quite honest. And that is the uh, shooting range. Now, but the, to be honest, these characters right here are just, just for fun. They don't really add much, because obviously, as soon as you hit an arrow, um, then uh, as soon as you hit them with, with an arrow, they just get broken up and you know they're useless. But I just wanted to add it up just for um, the laughs. Um, <clears throat> now this one was actually really fun. Um, you have the dispensers here, which obviously carry eggs with zombies and skeletons, and these are husks, I believe. Yeah, husks. And there's a mixture. Uh, yeah, these are both mixture. Okay. Um, yeah, and then zombies again, skeletons again. So, how this works is you press a button, and I can quickly explain it to you. You press a button, the signal comes down here, activates this piston right here, activates our note blocks, and then it will come here, and in here, and it, it basically just goes to, um, through the dispensers, really, and it will activate the corresponding lines that we need. Um, and that, that's the, that's literally the best I can I can explain it. Um, these obviously are a bit different because they're from the side, so they come in here. And let's see if I can find a line. So they go down here, down here, down here, down here. And then we'll, what's this line? Okay. So this line here, and that will go all the way here and activate this, which will power this, turn this off, and then turn it on, and that will go into the dispenser and all of that. Now there's one line in particular that's a bit uh, interesting because you have this one, which is the last one. I didn't click on that. Uh, in the video, but basically what it does is it will activate every single dispenser and As you can see here um, This line here is connected to every single line In this in the system so that whenever obviously whenever you press it every single line gets activated so every single dispenser gets activated um, Yeah, so basically again really easy redstone, but yet again still quite fun and that's all of the red so yeah, I can show you really quick what it looks like if you press every single um, mob out. So mob spawning. If you do that, every single mob will come out. Um, oh yeah, it would help if I'm on easy as well. So as you can see, every single mob will come out, um, <laughs> which is quite busy. But I just want it to be fun. So if I do, if I do that, more will come in there. I think, I think, yeah, there you go. So, welcome. Okay. 
So, let me block it up for now, otherwise it might fall in there. So, so yeah, um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, I, I believe this is the last room. I can quickly go over it. See, alright, the, the screen should turn off. Turn it on right now. So, let's quickly turn it off. There's obviously also a reset for those lines like that, so like, as you can see, it's turned off. And then you can turn it back on. Oh, and it already turned on, okay. That, that, that's how quick the melons grow. So turn off. Turn it on. There you go, so that stays off. And then the same on this side. Off. And on. So, okay. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you in a few videos where I'm going to do tutorials and cover the basic things I just talked about. Um, again, thanks a lot for watching. Everything will be in, in the description below if you want to check out anything that you really liked. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye. And thanks for watching. And uh, I'm Brian from T-Rex Central. And I'll see you guys later.